This is a smoke detector I bought in a local store for five dollars U.S. Inside is a uh, inside it is a radioactive point source, a little button of americium 241, and uh, not all smoke detectors have it, but if you look on the side, if they do have the radioactive point source, they'll tell you. And I'm going to get that radioactive point source out of the smoke detector. Here it is right here. I'm going to get it out so I can use it for my cloud, uh, cloud chamber experiment. So what I did already off camera, I opened this up. This is how you would normally change the battery. There's no battery in here because I've already cut it out, used it for something else. And then you see there's a circuit board. I pried the circuit board off already and you can see there's two towers. Remember we're looking for the radioactive uh, point source, the source of americium 241. It's going to be a little button inside one of these two towers. Well, One of these towers has got the, the point source in it and the other tower has got the alarm in it, the siren. And if you look at the plastic You can see that you can see the holes. That's for obviously for the siren. So this white tower has the alarm in it, which means the black tower has got the radioactive point source. Now to get it, I'm probably going to have to destroy this tower, and that's okay. I only paid five dollars for the whole thing, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Tell you what, this little attachment on a Swiss Army knife works really well. Okay, I got it open, and you can see inside there's the little button of the americium 241. So now we'll keep going and we'll get it out. You can see that the alpha particle source, the americium-241, is in the inside of the button. It's impregnated in some metal. Still, it's a good idea to wash your hands after doing this or to wear gloves. Um, I'm going to keep this in a glass jar and hopefully use it for uh, a cloud chamber experiment coming up next.